it's pretty hard to overlook the Academy Awards. All those famous faces gathering to see who will take home the world's most recognizable symbol of achievement. Easier to overlook is the other thing the Academy has been doing more than half a century, collecting. Thousands of films, thousands of books, millions of photographs, tons of artifacts related to the moving image. So much material, it had to be stored in eight locations across Los Angeles. When I became president uh, a few years ago, I made one of the, my, my strong uh, vows that I would find, help find, a uh, new building for our library and archives. And uh, this is the result three years later. The opening of the Center for Motion Picture Study seemed more like a movie premiere. Lots of flashbulbs, lots of stars, but no one talked about their latest picture. If we are the art form of the 20th century, if we are the American art form, then we must provide the future with our history. And this library is equipped to do that. It is time that the Academy uh, put something together like this and began to perform a scholarly and academic and useful function other than putting on a show and, and giving out statues. It has always done it, but not on such a large scale. Archive director Michael Friend now has more than 12,000 films under one roof. And preservation officer Daniel Woodruff has easier access to the films that require his attention. In recent years, the public demand for vintage films has surged, and so has the alliance between the studios and the archives to preserve them. And along with that surge, um, there's been a surge in an interest in quality. You know, people now don't really want to see an old, beat-up print with lots of scratches. They'd like to see a brand new 35 millimeter print that's been, you know, that's been restored. The Cecil B. DeMille Reading Room now houses the Academy's full library of books and periodicals. On display, only a hint at what the Academy's been given. Here's a letter from Humphrey Bogart, a script handwritten by Preston Sturgis, a program from the premiere of The Good Earth. Now, the Academy Library maintains production files on more than 82,000 films and on 73,000 film personalities. Now, the size of your file depends on your place in the film hierarchy. Here's the file on Bo Derek and Betty Davis has the entire drawer. Scholars can now review scripts from more than 5,000 films. Many scripts, the personal copies of the filmmakers or the stars. I have kids who call me up, get my number some way and say, Miss Winters, will you put bobby pins on your scenes? What do you mean when you told Monty Cliff uh, you, you have it written under the line? And then I have to think and remember, and they get the scripts and they study them, young filmmakers. The Academy happily reports young filmmakers make up a large number of those requesting archival films and materials. Materials that are now consolidated in one place. And films that archivists are now hoping to preserve not just for generations, but for centuries. A thousand years from now, what film do you suppose would you hope would be, uh, would be preserved in its original form? The Lou Gehrig story, Pride of the Yankees, my favorite movie. I, I, I wanted to come to a place where I could look at it. I hope it's still here. Only in Hollywood, I'm Peter Jones.